There are some extensions that I use frequently. Obviously, there are some that I use less often, but there are others which I use on a daily basis. And I want to introduce you to one of those extensions now. It's called Outwit. For those who have downloaded the Recruiters Dashboard, you'll be able to find the Outwit icon here in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Of course, if you're using uh, Firefox or any one of the Mozilla-based browsers, then there's no reason why you can't go ahead and install the add-on in exactly the same way as you'd add any extension to your browser. And then you'll be able to achieve some of the things that I'm about to show you. So uh, one of the things that I want to be able to do is extract documents from my search results. So here you can see that I've got some search results from uh, Google and I'm going to come directly here into Outwit and I'm going to select Outwit Docs. And what Outwit Docs will do is it will basically go through each one of those search results and it will harvest all of the resume documents from within those pages. So you can see here that we've got some nice results coming through and as it goes along it will start to pick them all up. Now what I can do is I can modify my results so that I can see them ordered by date. If I want I can refine my search by selecting particular types of document whether those are Word documents, PDF files or what have you. I can go ahead and I can highlight one or I can highlight them all and then drag them off here into this area where uh, we can then have them dumped directly on my machine into my resumes folder. So for example, I can take, well, let's just take one. I'll take this resume and put it here. And if you see now, as I come into my resumes folder, you'll see that the item that I just dragged into the catch has been added on my machine. Now I can take all of these items and migrate these off into my Gmail resume database and if anybody wants to know how to do that uh, then I would refer you to the tutorial that talks specifically to the various ways that you can import items into your Gmail um, account. But you can see there that this is a pretty powerful way to manipulate your Google results and get some value added bang for your buck. So that's just one of the things that you can do with Outwit. Let me show you another. I'm going to come here into this search and here you can see I've done an x-ray on LinkedIn and here are all of my candidates on the results page here and I'm going to come again into Outwit and this time I'm going to select Outwit Hub. And Outwit Hub is a really very powerful scraping tool. I would strongly encourage you to uh, play with this and try and learn all of the different features that are available to you. I'm just going to show you one very, very simple application and hopefully whet your appetite. If I come over here to the guess option, which is one of the subfolders under data, you'll see that all of my results are nicely ordered in these columns. And what I'm able to do now is select one and then select them all. And if I right click on this, you'll see that I can now come down here and export the selection as an Excel spreadsheet, a CSV file. If you've got a database that requires SQL, then you can download it into an appropriate format. I'm going to save this document here on my machine again. And now I can upload all of these results into my applicant tracking system, or indeed I can migrate them over into my Gmail accounts. So if I come over here and open this up, you'll see that this is a really easy way for you to be able to capture a lot of data. And there are a great many applications that you can put this to. I'm not going to bore you now with the long list, but obviously you can come now and create a pretty useful worksheet out of this. And if you want to get rid of some of the gobbledygook, you can go ahead and delete the cached column. And you've got a pretty nice worksheet there. So that's a couple of ways that you can use Outwit. It is by far one of the most powerful add-ons in the extensions basket. And as you're playing with it, I wish you success. Until we meet again then, happy Googling everybody. Bye-bye.